Hello, Mr. Negrin here. Welcome to Simitone, a new engine for the Sims 1. So I finally managed to stream it through Steam using the launcher. So the trick was that I needed to click on the launcher on the Windows 10 computer to make it show up. Then I could start it. Hopefully we will have music and everything when the game starts. We have 3D options. using the mouse on the other computer now because it couldn't click for some reason with the other mouse music, we need to lower the music fight a bit so I can use the 3D mode in Simiton on the best computer I'm streaming the game but there might be an issue with the mouse I might not be able to click on stuff using the mouse on the Windows 7 computer, if that's the case like I think it is then we'll have to play it on the Windows 10 computer but I will have it recording on the Windows 7 computer so it's running on both computers but uh, it's the Windows 10 that is running the game normally when you stream a game you can control everything uh, on the Windows 7 computer um, like when you do stuff on the Windows 7 computer you are also doing stuff on the Windows 10 computer but for some reason I can't really click on, on the but buttons using Windows 7, so we'll have to m use the older computer, sadly. Uh, I mean the, the older computer with the m more modern uh, operating system, Windows 10. I have an older gaming computer from 2009 uh, that is using Windows 10, and then I have a more recent gaming computer from 2013 that has uh, Windows 7 because I'm mostly using uh, playing Final F uh, Medieval Total Total World Kingdoms and uh, it works better on Windows 7 than on Windows 10. I believe elephants or beasts based on elephants, they crash way more often on Windows 10. Okay, so, uh, and there, there are other issues too. I prefer Windows 7, but uh, there is a problem using Windows 7 with certain modern games. The reason we have a problem with this game is because it's a new fan-made engine. It worked fine on Windows 7, but for some reason the modded content uh, causes crashing it, it, I get error messages and crashes using the custom content but on Windows 10 they work fine so that's why we need to use Windows 10 and stream the game on Windows 7 unfortunately I can't click on buttons on Windows 7 so we'll need to play on the older computer the one with the worst graphics but I am recording on the better computer so it will look better there Okay, so uh, we've already seen this family in the past. Um, let's see, here. we'll move out of this view. I don't know how they. Yeah, I see. I could enter with this family first. So we'll have better resolution now than previously. You can check this family. Here the Final Fantasy 7 guys. We'll pause the game. We have Cloud Strife. It's a wonderful model. So when I recorded this game in November 2022, for some reason the video quality became worse. 
then when I played the game, then when I made a video, I recorded using Bandicam back then, and uh, for some reason the resolution became worse when I had uploaded to YouTube than it was when I played. Now when I'm using Bandicut, uh, the resolution is pretty much the same. That's why I wanted to uh, make a new video where we can see everyone in a better resolution. Also, I have a few new families that I showed off in the traditional view, previously in the classic view from above, but I, I want to show them off in this 3D view. So this Final Fantasy VII uh, family, the good Final Fantasy VII family, has Cloud Strife, the main character of Final Fantasy VII. We'll see Cloud Strife, the good looking face. See his uh, Yab lead forces. Wonderful model from 2007 or so, 2007, 2008, or 2009. Maybe the models are from 2009 for the Sims 1. But uh, they are based on the Final Fantasy VII Advent Children movie and on the Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core game. I believe uh, the movie released in 2006 and the game for the PlayStation Portable in 2007. On that note, uh, Crisis Core has had a remaster released in December last year with better graphics and such that I'm yet to buy. Okay, but I've played a bit out of the PSP game in the past. Okay, we have uh, Kid Hyvind, one of Cloud's team members. He's an astronaut, he earns $625 a day. Cloud is an elite forces soldier, he earns $325 a day. <coughs> Vincent Valentine is a lab assistant, he earns $230 a day. Zach Fair, he's also an elite soldier. $325 a day, like Cloud. Barrett Valak, he's a smuggler, criminal, $900 a day. That's what he earns. It's a good Barrett model, too, with the gun arm. Classic Barrett, and we have Jaffe, too, and some others. Tifa Lockhart is first. It's Advent Children Tifa. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a good model of the classic Tifa. I found one model, but it wasn't very good. So I preferred using this one. I could have used this head uh, on the older model body, but it would still have not have looked as good. So, but I did that with uh, Jaffe. I kept the old body and the new head because this style is the classic style and I prefer it. But this was still a good model, just anime style. The old Tifa model, I believe, um, was very, very old. It wasn't even as good looking as this body. Um, uh, the, 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 the face was very anime style, so I, I replaced the head, but not the body. The body would have been just the Advent Children Jaffe. I prefer the classic one. Okay, um, Tifa Lockhart. She's a restaurator, restaurator. Salary, $690 a day. It's not that bad. And then we have here Gainsborough. She, she has the worst job. She's a test subject. Uh, she's not a human, she's an ancient. So obviously, they want to, make, to do uh, experiments on her. The evil Shrindra organization and Professor Hoyo. She's a wonderful model. Only earns $155 a day. We have Jaffe Kisaragi, a ninja. She's a criminal mastermind. She's a thief in the, g in the game too, so steals the party's material and such before joining them. So a mastermind made sense. She's very smart when it comes to stealing and such. 
okay and then we have um, I believe that's everybody I don't think we will play as the Final Fantasy 7 guys I just wanted to take a look at their characters I will play later but I have a few other characters that I haven't added yet like Lord of the Rings characters and Harry Potter characters I also have a bunch of cool custom content for Lord of the Rings like L Lorian and such but unfortunately they they weren't um, available in full you had like pictures of the whole settlement or whole whole uh, house but <coughs> then every single part of it had a separate download from different places because the problem with modding is that that you, you can't upload someone else's work so for example the Lord of the Rings L Lorian house which was pretty much uh, Karaskaladon with a lot of detail and different assets and such it wasn't made by one guy so you had like different parts of the house being made by different people and because of this I could only get like some of the stuff but not others because <coughs> other parts because um, certain links are dead so, so you, you could get like the main file and then you could get some of the extra files but not all of them because many of the links were dead so so that's why the, the house wouldn't be perfect in Sims 1 but uh, could probably be ported to this uh, Simit 1 engine if uh, with, with the assets that I have but I don't know how to port settlements unfortunately I just don't know how. This seems to be a vanilla house, I think. Could be wrong though. Okay, we have the Final Fantasy VIII family here. It's entered a lot. Pause the game before they join any uh, jobs. Ah, so we have. Uh, Idea here, the evil sorceress. Of course, these models are really old, they are from 2000 2003. I believe these are from 2000 and 2001. Maybe one or so is from 2002, but at the most 2003. I think 2001 and 2000, well, yeah, 2000, 2001, and 2002, most likely. I think the idea model looked good, but of course, the texture in the face is old, so when you zoom in on her, it doesn't look very good, it looks painted. But if you zoom out a bit, it looks actually decent. The border looks great, and the, the detail on the back and such. We have Safer Almosy. His face actually looks decent. If you do not zoom in too close, they actually look good. So this is the Final Fantasy VIII family. Unfortunately, they didn't have Squall Leonhardt, the main character. <laughs> That's because they added him to a different family prior to adding this family. Also, these are eight family members and Simit Woon has like uh, at least 30 characters per family that you can add but only if you create the families in Simit Woon. If you create them um, in Sims 1 they are limited to 8. And using the editor you can move family members um, between families but you can never reach the 8 limit on the number of family members. So that's why I couldn't move Squall to this family and I didn't want to remake it. Uh, as I had eight other characters, you can still have him relate to these guys if you play as the family with with um, Squall, or if you play this family, you can still meet up with Squall in the game in different locations and such. But yeah, it sucks that Rinova, his main love interest, isn't part of the same family as Squall Leonhardt, the main character. <coughs> he would of course fit in this family. Maybe one could have removed this summon character Siren uh, in favor of Squall Leonhardt but <coughs> I um, yeah and then add the uh, summon to the other family that has a mix of different Final Fantasy characters. I might actually move this character to the other family and uh, move Squall to this family because it makes sense. He's supposed to be a love interest of Rinoa and have relations to all of these characters except this one because it's a summon that you summon in battle in Final Fantasy VIII like Shiva and Ifrit and Ramu and others Bahamut so 
so yeah, uh, this one would fit better in the mixed family and then squall in this family. I might change that actually. Yeah, I think the models are decent. Uh, Selfie Helmet has a great body, great hairstyle. The game, of course, all the faces are outdated, look good from a bit away, from afar. Of course, uh, when they go to work, they have a military jeep because they have military jobs. This quest this is really good looking, even the face was good. Quest is trippy. On our way to, to work. Rina look good, as long as we do not zoom in too far, too close. Same with others, we have this guy too. Irvine Kinias. Okay. Okay, their jobs. We already checked them but in, in the other video but <coughs> we check them here too. So which one is this? Sa Safer Alma so he's a junior officer. Yeah he was a little bit higher up than just a recruit. And we have his partner, Fujin. Is a recruit like Cloud and Zack. Most of the FF8 heroes are recruits. Selfie Tilmit, also a recruit. Earns $250 a day. What did Safer earn? $450. Yeah, he's uh, slightly above the others. He's a junior officer. Siren is unemployed because she is a salmon. She will be moved. But the model was still decent. Especially uh, if you look at the detail from behind here, you see these uh, like uh, feathers or whatever. Okay, Chris is trippy. She's a drill instructor. She earns 400. She's also higher rank than a recruit, but lower rank than a junior officer. Wonderful model, and all the models still. 2002, 2001, 2003. Okay. Every Noah Hartley, she's a country intelligence, she has a higher position, $100 a day. That's a decent looking model. And then we have uh, Irvan Kinias. He's a treasure hunter, $725 a day, he earns the most out of these characters. All of them are good party characters except Safer, who is like a rival of the main character Squall, Leonhardt, but is in the party in one battle or so. Edia is also in the party once or twice in the game. She's uh, the, the boss of the first CD. Sorceress, she's evil. The, the character is good, it's just that uh, she is possessed by an evil sorceress named Ultimacia, I believe. Okay, cult leader, she earns $1200 a day, she, she has the highest ranking job, like she should have. Safe it was kind of her lapdog in the story, you fought him first and then you fought Idia. So yeah, wonderful model still. All but still good. So Final Fantasy X also has models and Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy VIII is this game. So Final Fantasy VIII, VII and, uh, and X had great models but also I found a few older models of Final Fantasy VI. I didn't find any Final Fantasy IX models I believe. Or maybe I found two. But I don't know. But the problem with Final Fantasy IX is that the characters are like teenagers, so they are kids, that's why they are not made for this game in the same extent as the others. I believe Final Fantasy 8, 9, no, Final Fantasy 8, 10, and 7 have a more uh, like young adult character. They have <coughs> Final Fantasy 7, 8, and 10 have young adults as ca uh, characters for the most part, but all the teenagers. 
while uh, elephants and nine has teenagers, so no adults almost. Maybe there's one or so that is an adult, but most of them are kids. That's why they do not have Sims models in the same extent as the others. Okay. So these are Final Fantasy VIII characters. Go back to the neighborhood. Check the Final Fantasy X characters. Post the game. Uh, we have Tyrus. Let's check their names here. Tyrus, I don't know their surnames. So Tyrus, the main character of Final Fantasy X. Final Fantasy VI was released in 94, S 7 in 97, for the PC in 98, <coughs> Final Fantasy VIII in 99, and uh, 98 for the PlayStation, 99 for the PC, I believe. And then uh, Final Fantasy 9, I believe, was released in 2000 for the PlayStation, while Final Fantasy 10 was released in 2000 for the PlayStation 2. Okay. These are wonderful models to create faces. Same creator, I believe, with some of the other good models. We have Tide as the main character. I don't know if he has any job. Superstar, yeah, it makes sense. He's a sports star. Uh, he's a blitzball star. Blitzball player, it's a sport like football. Uh, and he's a star in that sport. Okay, then we have Yuna, Shaman, medium. She earns $375 a day. It's the classic Yuna. From Final Fantasy X. Not the one from Final Fantasy X. Part 2. Tidus earned 680. And medium 375. Okay. Then we have Aaron. Another Blitzball player, I believe. Hall of Famer. He earns 1300. He's even higher ranked than Tidus. He's a higher rank. Okay. Then we have uh, Riku. The original game. She looks like this. Wonderful face, good model. She's a white water guide, $25 a day. That's our salary. Then we have Lulu, a dowser, $480 a day. Wonderful model. All of them from Final Fantasy X. And then we have Pin, she's not from Final Fantasy X, she's from Final Fantasy X. I placed her in this family anyway. Okay, she's a rock star. Salary, $1,100 a day. Okay, we can unpause the game. They are sure to go to the cemetery and try. Let's start the game. Way we can check their relations too. Titus seems to have good relations with everyone but Aaron. So I have never finished Final Fantasy X. I played a bit on it. I rented it back in the day, back in 2000, for the PlayStation 2. I had the PlayStation 2. I'd never had this game back then. But I rented it and played quite a bit on it. And then. And I bought it later as a young adult, but never finished it. I have. Uh, like the PlayStation 2 version, I've owned at least since 2009. Then I have the PC version for Steam. I haven't installed yet because I have other games to play first. But yeah, I plan on playing a modded version of the PC version for Steam. Better graphics. I know that some models look worse in their faces and such. In the PC version, you need to <coughs> install mods to. to have them look as good as in the PS2 version when it comes to facial expressions and such. I will do that, I will install the mods before playing, but I don't want to install it because it takes a lot of space. It takes like 32 gigabyte of space. And I don't want to waste space. Yeah, the 3D mode of this game is really great. 
When I look at the other computer now, I see that the graphics are even better looking. Which is nice. They are more clear. I believe the graphics are, are more pale on the Windows 10 computer and on the 7 computer they are more colorful. The <coughs> there is like a strong light. It looks better. Okay, so these are the fancy 10 characters. Someone is actually visiting. Ah, Tifa and Aerith. Okay, we will exit. We'll check someone else. Check this one now. Pause the game before they start moving. So here is Squall Leonhardt, the main character of Final Fantasy VIII. This guy, he has a great model, much better face than the other models, so as he was made later. He's from the same guys that made the Final Fantasy VII models. The only Final Fantasy VIII model they made. Okay, he has, uh, he's unemployed, but he should be a soldier, a recruit. I believe he should be a recruit, not an elite soldier, so he's, he would be lower ranked than Cloud. I also fixed uh, young Cloud, by the way. So his body was bugged when I did the previous video in the 3D mode back in November 2022. I, I played a bit as the other Final Fantasy VII family and this Cloud showed up a few times in the video. I played for two hours and um, his body was... Uh, invisible or something. No, it was grayed out. It was a gray silver surfer body. He was bugged. I managed to fix him later. So now he has his proper Shinra soldier body. So this is young Cloud. He looks great. And then we have Squall Leonard, main character of Final Fantasy VIII. So Cloud is the main character of Final Fantasy VII, but Young Cloud is just a flashback character. He's not the main character. He's a flashback character of Final Fantasy VII and uh, he's a minor character in Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core. Where Zack is the main character, this guy. He's an Elite Forces guy, $25 a day. Young Cloud is probably just a recruit. Yeah, $250 a day. And then we have Yaffe with her advent children body and head. So this is the other body I added her to. So yeah, both Yaffe could meet each other, which is a little bit weird. Then we have a random character that I don't know who she is, named... I believe she's named Lilith or something. Made by the same characters that the uh, creators that made the Final Fantasy X characters. Then we have some Final Fantasy X 2 characters. We have Riku from Final Fantasy X uh, Part 2. Wonderful face. Wonderful hairstyle. Wonderful body. As so we had two different Rikus, so I added this one to this family instead. Uh, and then we have Yuna from Final Fantasy X 2. She also looks good here. I always preferred Yuna from the second game, but I prefer the first. Uh, I believe Final Fantasy X is the better game, but Final Fantasy X Part 2 had a better Yuna for sure. Okay, I haven't added jobs to most of them. They are unemployed, but they would be, I believe, pop stars. As in Final Fantasy X Part 2, they are pretty much pop stars. Okay, criminal mastermind for Jaffe here too. Here's 1100 day. Okay, and Pin has a different body here. She's also from Final Fantasy X Part 2. That's why I added the other one to the main family. She had two versions. Okay, this is a Final Fantasy X. Uh, I mean a Final Fantasy mix family between 8, 10 and 7. Mostly 10. And 
den. Here the Final Fantasy 7 Shinra family. Irina the Turk, Sing the Turk, Elena the Turk, Katesis, which is Reeve, controlling the Katesis robot from a distance using an electronic device. Malene Valak, the adoptive daughter of Barrett Valak. Denzel, the boy from the Final Fantasy VII Adventure movie. <coughs> Cisne the Turk and Rufus Shinra, the president of the Shinra company. The FF7 Shinra family. Pass the game before they go to work. Here are the models, they are wonderful. Same creator as the other Final Fantasy VII models. Only Yuffie was, uh, had a body made by someone else. The faces are great for these characters. The bodies. Okay, Kate is just a little bit in the air, but that's fine. Still a cool model. So he's a robot controlled by a Shinra guy. But he is good. He was a spy for the Shinra in the beginning of the story of Final Fantasy VII, but uh, he joins the team later. So he's one of the heroes. Marlene is, of course, a good girl, and Denzel is good too. This boy. They were kidnapped by the Shinra. Of course the rest of them are evil, but the, the Turks are not really evil, they are more like, they, they work for the Shinra companies, they do evil stuff, but they, they are good uh, people, for the most part. Uh, Rufus is kind of evil, the president, their leader, of course Seng is like, a uh, subordinate, uh, no, uh, superior to the other three, but Rufus is at the top. Okay, we will check them. Reno the Turk. This guy. Wonderful model. He's a counterintelligence officer. Okay. Then we have Cisne the Turk. So it's a counterintelligence officer, he earns 500 dollars a day. Okay. Then we have Lena the Turk, third counterintelligence officer, the Shindra of the Turks. Wonderful model. Their superior, Seng, the Turk, he's a senior officer, earns $580 a day. Okay, $580, so compared to $500. Okay, then we have Denzel, he's a kid from the movie Final Fantasy VII Advent Children from 2006. He's just a kid, he goes to school. Same with Marlene, but she's actually an important character from the original game. Barrett's adopted daughter, Dean's real daughter, so Dine or Dean, he was Barrett's best friend, but he he um, kind of got crazy after an incident where their home village got destroyed by the Shinra, so uh, Marlene ended up alone and Barrett took, him, uh, took her in. Okay, she goes to school too, and then we have Kate Sis, he's based on a kid, that's why he also goes to school, but he's uh, actually an adult uh, controlling this Kate Sis robot. Uh, so uh, in Sims 1 you cannot have um, uh, adults with kid bodies, if, if you add, for example, if you make a kid an adult, even in an editor, then the legs and the throat and the arms will automatically stretch. So in this game it's impossible to have adults that are same size as kids. 
which means dwarves are impossible unless they are as big as normal humans. Okay, I believe the Gimli dwarf of the Lord of the Rings, I believe he used a custom model as a base that is like a in between a kid and an adult. Did require a custom model to get him into the game. We'll try to add some Lord of the Rings characters later. It's a shame I don't have all those Lorian uh, files, but even the ones I have, I don't believe I will be able to add those to them. It would be cool that set uh, that house and, and uh, like yeah, <coughs> that uh, that lot and house was very very impressive. Yeah, we'll get the characters in for sure. Okay, then we have uh, Rufus Schrinner, the president. He's a business tycoon. He earns twelve hundred dollars a day. He's rich. Okay. Haven't added any uh, like uh, property to the house or anything. Start the game a little bit. Just check it out. So yeah, the, the game is more colorful on the Windows 7. I don't know if it's better. This, the light is much stronger. Usually it's better, but on the Windows 10 computer I have a much more clear view on the models. Not the strong colors. It looks great here too, but when I did the videos from this computer in November then the videos became way worse after being uploaded. I used Bandicam as I said, but I can't use Nvidia Shadow Player Recorder on this computer. It's too old. I have the Nvidia Shadow uh, graphics card, but it's uh, an outdated version unfortunately. Uh, on the Windows 7 I have a better, more recent version that could use NVIDIA Shadow Play Recorder. Okay, I left for work. Let's exit. Okay, check this. The Endymion family, but they do not have Endymion anymore. Pause the game. So these are evil guys from Sailor Moon. So we have uh, Suicide, we got the guy with the orange hair, looks very feminine, he's an evil guy, all of them are evil. So, so he is a counterfeiter, looks decent from afar. Got Diamond, he's a smuggler, earns 900. And then we have Consite, criminal mastermind, like the boss out of these. He's the highest ranking villain out of these three. So all the evil guys in Sailor Moon have like long hair, except maybe Yedite. Uh, most of them have long hair, I believe. Okay, so Saite had uh, $760 a day as a counterfeiter. Okay. Evil Sailor Moon characters were added since last time. Then I have the Final Fantasy VII Evil family. Let's pause the game. I've seen them slightly before, but we have better resolution now. We have Sephiroth, of course. Main evil guy, Final Fantasy VII. Final Fantasy VII Adventure, and then we have some minor evil characters from Final Fantasy VII Adventure in the movie. Three of them, and then we have the main evil guy of Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core, and then we have a good guy, Zack's uh, mentor. Okay, we'll check them. So we have the good guy, Angeal. This guy, he is um, a drill instructor like Safer Almacy. He earns four hundred dollars a day. He's Sack's mentor, Sack Fares mentor, and like superior. He didn't fit in the other. He, he didn't. Ha there was no room for him in the other family. As he had to create the family in the original game. We have character, a pet, 
So he is like a dog, I believe, but the dog is invisible and instead you have like the character. More visible, so it looks like it's a character pet, but it's a dog with a character tail, I believe. Okay, we have Loss, one of the minor evil guys of Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. This guy, he fights Tifa in the movie. And then we have Yasuo, another minor evil character of the movie. Guy with long hair. Similar to Sephrod. I believe he fought Vincent Valentine in the movie, could be wrong. Then we could add the leader of those three. He is like the, the main evil guy, uh, main evil guy in Final Fantasy VII Advent Children prior to the arrival of Sephrod in, at, in the, at the end of the movie. Okay. He is a cult leader. Here, yeah. Loss is a criminal mastermind. He earns eleven hundred dollars a day. Kidaj, cult leader, twelve hundred dollars a day. Sue, criminal mastermind, eleven hundred dollars. Yeah, they are still highly ranked. And Yilon, the drill instructor, four hundred. Genesis is the main evil guy of Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core, the prequel to Final Fantasy VII, Sack first game. He's an elite forces guy, like Sephiroth. Okay, then we have Sephiroth, his elite forces too, elite soldier, it's a very low rank. For someone like Sephiroth, he's the main evil guy, but he earns very little, only 225. He's an elite soldier. Okay. And we have the Van Peace family. Post the game. So we have uh, four of the characters made by the same guy that made the Jaffe body. The anime style Jaffe body. And then we have and she, uh, that person, uh, a, a female I believe, woman. Uh, she made uh, Naruto characters too that they haven't added yet. There are like over 30 Naruto characters. So we'll have to add some Lord of the Rings characters, Harry Potter characters and... Uh, Naruto characters later, maybe some others too. But for now, we will preview whatever I added in November that I never previewed. The reason I never previewed them is because uh, Bandicam stopped working and had an issue where it could only uh, record like a few minutes, like 10 minutes per video. And I, did, I didn't bother to fix it. Uh, but now I'm using Nvidia Shadow Play Recorder on the other computers, so it's much better now. Okay, so we have uh, four characters made by the same guy and uh, or girl, and then uh, or woman, and then we have this guy made by the same guy that created the Final Fantasy VII characters. He made Ace Fire Fist too. He's a more realistic face than the others. Okay, so Monkey D. Luffy is the main character of One Piece, Japanese manga and anime. Uh, he's unemployed, I haven't given him a uh, job yet, but he's supposed to be a criminal. A uh, good character, but a criminal because they are pirates. Fire Fist Ace, same there. Sora is a master swordsman. But also a part of the pirate crew. All of these guys are a part of Luffy's pirate crew except Ace, who is his brother. But he's a part of a member of a different crew. Okay. So all of them are unemployed. I didn't bother to give them their proper jobs yet. Uh, so Nami is a criminal mastermind though. She's like the navigator of the pirate crew. And so is the sword master. And Luffy is like the captain. And Sunny here is the chef. So yeah, he will have a job. He will be a chef, and Nami will be a criminal mastermind. She also steals, uh, I believe, stuff in the beginning of the manga and anime. Zoro, I think, uh, I don't know what we will give him. We'll see. These are the One Piece characters, of course. The Ace one looked 
the best. But uh, these guys are not bad either. They're really good. You know. Just have a different style. I believe these guys have more correct uh, eyes than the other. Well, this one looks more like a Final Fantasy character in terms of the eyes. Okay. Sailor Moon characters too, somewhere here. Yeah, Sailor Mars, Sailor Mercury, Chibiusa, Black Lady, which is adult Chibiusa, and Sailor Pluto, but it's a black version of Sailor Pluto. We have Tuxedo Mask, we have Luna, let's enter. Post the game. So, Sailor Mars, it's alright. The face is not the best, it looks better from a bit away. If you zoom in, it doesn't look that good. These models were pretty good for. Sims 1. You also have Chibi user, she has a much better model. The face looks as good as the Final Fantasy X characters, I believe they were made by the same creator. Well, the Mars one is probably made by a different creator, or is from the same, but didn't look as good. Then we have Sailor Pluto, but it's a, like a brown version of her. Still a good model. Just doesn't look like the, 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 the Sailor Pluto that. Uh, from the anime, which is a white character, and then we have um, Tuxedo Mask, he has red hair, in, this, in the show I believe he has like black hair, but maybe in the manga he had red, I don't know. It's Tuxedo Mask, we have Adel Chibiusa, the good model, same creators that made that, uh, those Final Fantasy X models, and we have Sailor Mark, I didn't add Sailor Moon, and uh, Sailor Venus and Sailor Jupiter yet. Okay, we have Luna. Try to add her. She looks like a normal black cat in Sims 1. In, in, Simit one, in, in Sims 1, I believe she looks more like Luna. She has the moon symbol and the unique look. But in Sims 2, she ended up just a black cat. So there, Jobs. Captain Hero for Sailor Mars. Okay, Captain Hero for Sailor Mercury. And a kid for Sibius, it's just a kid, she goes to school. Black Lady is Captain Hero 2, Adult Chibiusa. It's weird to have both the adult and the kid in the same family, but I used to add them because I wanted to see what they looked like in Simdon. Um, okay, then we have uh, Sailor Pluto, she's a Captain Hero 2. She do not have her sailor outfit, she looks more like a normal outfit, I think. It looks like she has her normal outfit. We have uh, Xero Masks Captain Hero too. And we have a pet cat. Okay. Then we have the Xena Warrior Princess family. We have Xena Warrior Princess, Aphrodite, God of Love. Gabriel, Hercules, and I Laos. So we have like um, the two main characters of the Hercules show, Hercules and I Laos. Then we have the two main characters of the Xena Warrior Princess show, Xena herself and Gabriel. And then we have Aphrodite, the God of Love. So the idea behind it, I believe, is that I Laos and Gabriel would be together, and Xena and Hercules would be together, and then the God of Love would uh, play a part in getting them all to fall in love. Each other. So we have those five characters, there are no other characters. Pause the game. See, are you lost here? Wonderful model, looks like in the show. Then we have Gabriel. So a wonderful model with a wonderful hairstyle. The face looks decent. The same character, uh, sorry. The same creator that made these Xena models also made a Lord of the Rings models, by the way. They had like Galadriel, Elrond, Sam, Gandalf, Frodo, Merry Pippin, Boromir, Legolas, Gimli, <coughs> and so on, Aragorn. I also found a bunch of hobbits, generic hobbits and such, Arwen, I believe. 
Then also the site had Lurch and a Goblin and Saruman, but for some reason the links to the evil guys didn't work. I was so disappointed because the Goblin looked like... It wasn't a Goblin, it was an Orc. Uh, the Orc looked exactly like a Lord of the Rings Orc. I would have wanted that Orc in, <laughs> in, in, in this game. But I couldn't download it because the, the link was dead. And the same with Saruman, the leader of Isengard, the, the White Wizard, and then course alert the Urukai captain that was sent out by Saruman in the first movie to kill the, 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 the Fellowship of the Ring and take the ring from Frodo and bring it to Saruman. All of those three were models with as good quality as these models, but unfortunately the links are dead. But the, the good guys could still be downloaded. It was very weird that the, 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 the good guys worked but not the evil guys. I was very disappointed because I really wanted the orc. It's a rare model, you can't really find any orcs for Sims 1. This is Sina. She doesn't look as good when you zoom in, but it's good, looks decent. I was a little bit disappointed that they didn't have Callisto. She was my fav favorite character in the Sina show. But I guess they focused on the main characters of each show and added goddess of love Aphrodite to add some spice to the role play all of them based on the actors here yeah the game could certainly have had a few more characters including Callisto but and Yoxer maybe he was also one of my favorites from the show the Yoke character Yoxer yeah these models are decent she has her uh, shuriken or whatever this is and has a sword on her back. And what about their jobs? Seen a warrior princess. She's a captain hero. She earns seven hundred dollars a day. Gabrielle is a treasure hunter. She earns seven hundred twenty-five a day. And then with Hercules, he's a captain hero, of course. And I love treasure hunter. And then we have the goddess of love, Aphrodite, as they couldn't be gods in this game, she is a superstar instead. He earns fourteen hundred dollars a day. The best job yet, better than the business tycoon, and better than the cult leader. Goddess of love, Aphrodite, the Greek goddess. Okay, we didn't give them a house yet might want to move them to a place with a house later. Okay, but these models look very good in the faces and uh, yeah, the Lord of Rings characters look as good as these guys. And it's very a shame that Lurts they always liked and, and the Orc in, uh, couldn't be downloaded. And Saruman too. He would have wanted those characters in Sims, even though they would be out of place in a modern setting like this. It would be cool with some orcs. Could have an entire family of orcs. Anyway, unfortunately the, the evil guys couldn't be downloaded. Okay, but they have all the good guys. Okay, <coughs> I believe there were an Eowyn model too. I haven't added yet. Snape from Harry Potter had a really good model as well, and, and the main characters, Harry Potter, Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger, they had great models too. We have the Dragon Quest characters, even though I don't know where these two are from, Nag and Lena, <coughs> but they fit in the family because it's a fantasy based family, it's past the game. This is Dragon Quest based family. Dragon Quest 1, Dragon Quest 3 and Dragon Quest 6 I believe. And whatever game these two are from. Alina and Naga. Everyone has a name in Sims 1 but I haven't added the names to Simiton for most of them. The models are great. Similar quality to the Final Fantasy 7 characters. But I believe it was a different creator. This model is different. But I thought it was cool and it fit the fantasy family. Same with this one. 
She looks more boyish. This long hair. She looks like some kind of thief. Knight or something. Mixed between a thief and a knight or something. This girl is certainly a healer. This one is a uh, hero of some sort. A mage. This girl. We have a uh, Dragon Quest 8 character here too. We had two models of her. That's why she ended up here with this model. We have the main character of Dragon Quest 1. In Dragon Quest 1, I believe you only had one character and no team. And the main character looked like this. Then here we have a different character. I don't know her class. Okay, let's check the characters. I don't know their names. <sighs> okay. So this mage is a cult leader, of course. The only suitable job for a mage. She is probably a good mage. One of the team members, the heroes. Then we have the hero. He's the captain hero, of course. He's the main character of Dragon Quest One. <laughs> yeah. Then we have the other hero from Dragon Quest Three, I believe, or Six, but I think it's Three. The main character of the third game or the sixth game. Hero 2 doesn't look like a knight. Then we have this girl. She's a Dragon Quest 8 character. And then we have this girl, Chief of Hospital Staff. She's a healer, one of the members of the party. Then we have this one, a Captain Hero, female hero character. Looks like a character from game I played a strategy game I don't remember her name or her role and we have Naga she's a captain hero I didn't know her role or who she is same with this one is captain hero too so we have a bunch of fantasy based characters here that look great and they have a home too but no stuff added to the home yet Okay, cool family. We also had a different uh, Dragon Quest family somewhere. Ah, here, the Dragon Quest 8 family. I only named the hero in the Simiton yet. Let's pause the game. They didn't get home yet. Will add homes to all these empty lots. I don't like empty lots. I'm not good at. I don't have the imagination to build a house or whatever. I used to prefer having starting houses, but I wanted to add custom houses like castles. But uh, I got crashes whenever I tried to add the the 2D art on the map worked fine, but when I clicked on it to start it, it crashed. I don't know. One of the creators uh, or modders of the engine said that it's possible to add custom lots, custom houses to the Simiton game too, as she had done it herself, but I don't know what to, how to do it, uh, because I get a crash whenever I try to enter the custom lot. It would be cool to have like a castle or something. I downloaded a bunch of cool custom lots, because I wanted them to be added to this engine and see them in 3D, but for some reason I get a crash whenever I try to enter. Okay, so this is the other version of this character. I prefer the head or face of the other one, I believe. Look more like in the game. The body is good here too. And then we have this guy. And another one here. So these are like different characters from Dragon Quest Eight, including the main character here, the hero. He's a Captain Hero, for sure. I don't know about the others. This one is a Captain Hero. This one is a hero too. And this girl is unemployed. I plan on playing Dragon Quest VIII by the way. I used to have that game on my PS2 back in the day. And, and of course I I want to finish it. I had played quite a bit on it back in the day. So we'll play uh, Dragon Quest VIII at some point. The art is of course the same as uh, Dragon Ball Z, made by Akira Toriyama, the creator of Dragon Ball Z, but these models are not made by him, of course. 
so they look different here they look more realistic like from fancy characters here but the, the game the game characters are made by the same creator that made Dragon Ball C okay Dragon Quest 8 we lack the fat guy otherwise we had all of them seen the Pokemon family, we can just check it a bit past the game. There we have a Pokemon family, unfortunately the pets ended up buggy, so the tails and heads worked, but not the body. Check that already now, but now we the same with this uh, nine tails pet. The characters worked fine, I believe it, um, <coughs> tails always worked, but one out of two bodies parts, I believe uh, in Sims 1 the board and the head is the same model, but in Simiton they are two separate uh, models, that's why either the head or the board uh, ends up with a silver surfer texture. But the tail always wo uh, works, that's why the character worked, because it was a tail, the entire model. Okay, we have Ash Ketchum, Misty, James of Team Rocket, Yes of Team Rocket, we have Rika, and we have Brock, check their jobs. Ash Ketchum, these are also very old models from the year 2000, I believe, or 2001. Very old models. Uh, so, uh, same car uh, creator that made some of the Silly Moon models. I believe the same creator that made the Silly Moon and other story models. They have the same style in their faces, I believe. So, Yab. <coughs> Ash Ketchum is a superstar. Pokemon Master. Brock is a coach, gym leader, he earns $1,000 a day. Sketch him and $680 a day. He's a superstar, Pokemon master. Mist is a coach to a gym leader, earns $1,000. Then we have Rika, she's a coach, a gym leader, earns $1,000. We have James of Team Rocket, he's a counterfeiter, earns $760 a day, he's a criminal of Team Rocket, criminal organization that steals Pokemon. Then we have, yes, we have Team Rocket, a smuggler, earns $900 a day, another criminal, she has a higher salary than James, she's a, he's superior pretty much. And then we have two pets, they are unemployed of course, we have Pikachu and we have nine tails. Uh, their body is Silver Surfer. They have a house too. Okay. Then we have the second Pokemon family. You can check it out too. So the other one was based on the anime, as we saw. This one is based on the, on the games instead. And the manga. So we have uh, Red. <coughs> He's the main character of Pokemon Red. They have the Game Boy game. <coughs> that the anime was originally based on. He looks a lot like Ash. <coughs> I believe Ash was originally supposed to be him. But ended up his own character in the end. So this, <coughs> this guy is more like a real Pokemon master. He, uh, he captures all the Pokemon. All the 151 Pokemon of the original Pokemon uh, game. And he gets Mewtwo and everyone. So yeah, he's much more skilled than and then Ash. Okay, the model looks the same, just a slightly different texture. Red, he is um, Hall of Famer. He's a higher rank than Ash, who is a superstar. Hall of Famer earns thirteen hundred dollars a day. So he's, he's uh, more famous than Ash. We have Green, his female partner. Thief, she's a superstar. Pokemon Master, yeah. Then we have Lucario, Pokemon. He's unemployed, of course. She's a he is a Pokemon. 
We also have Umbreon, but unfortunately the, the, the head didn't work in Simiton. In Sims 1 it looked like Umbreon, but in Simiton it looks only the body looked correct. So I managed to somehow get both textures to work, but the head has uh, the wrong uh, like uh, texture. It doesn't have a silver surfer texture, but it has the, the other vanilla cat texture for some reason. But the body looks correct. Umbrian's body. Okay, then we have um, Erika. She's a coach, a gym leader. Here she has a different look than in the other family. Had an alternate version of her. They added to this family. The second generation James of Team Rocket. He has a black like suit instead of the white one. So ye yes, in James we are in the part of the manga or, or game, but the Team Rocket guys in, in the games and in the manga had black suits and were more evil. So he represents that. Okay, and then we have <coughs> second generation Jesse. She has a different body than the other one. It still has a white color, white and black color. She also had an alternate hairstyle that had shorter hair, but I didn't like it, so I gave her the same hairstyle as the other Jesse. Used different body. She could have had a different head too with a shorter hairstyle. Okay, and then uh, Miss the second gen Misty, she's a coach, gym leader. One thousand for coaches. Smugglers 900, Counterfeiter 760, Alfamer 1300. Okay. So that's Pokemon family here. Okay. What else do we have in this person? Of course, we have the Sailor Moon and other story characters. The Dragon Ball character. We check the Dragon Ball ones first. With Piccolo, Android 17, Super Saiyan Goku, Krillin, Kid Goku, Android 18, and Trunks. We've already seen them in the past, I believe, and I think about it. Yeah, we, we have viewed these before. But we didn't have as good resolution back then. So this is one out of two Dragon Ball families, I believe. Okay, we have Piccolo. He's a Hall of Famer. Against 1300 dollars a day, and 17 Hall of Famer. Most of the Dragon Ball characters are Hall of Famers. Same with Super Saiyan Goku. Krillin is a kid because he needed to be smaller than an adult, and that forced him to be a kid, so he doesn't have any job. He goes to school, even though he's supposed to be an adult, but he ended up a kid in this game. Son Goten, he's a kid, he goes to school. Goku's son. Son of. Uh, no, it's Kid Goku actually. But he's also a kid, the same model as Goten, just with a. Uh, like, staff. as a weapon. Okay. Have trunks. Teenage trunks or future trunks. He's a Hall of Famer too. He has his sword and. Future trunks look. Then with Android 18, she is a Hall of Famer as well. Okay, and uh, as for relations, so I played a bit with this, we don't really care about relations. We'll exit back. I was gonna start the other Dragon Ball family. That was the wrong one. This is the other one, we have Vegeta, Bulma, Son Goku, Shichi, Son Gohan, Weedle, and Son Goten. Pause the game. So these are the Dragon Ball, second Dragon Ball family. Wonderful models for Sims 1. Texture doesn't look perfect when zoomed in on it, but they look like anime characters. I'm still very impressed. Gohan looked good when zooming in. Well, Goku and Vegeta had a weird, like, thing in, in the middle of the face. 
Vedo Sici and Bulma. Of course, uh, some Gohan or adult Gohan is together with Vedo. And some Goku, normal Goku, ordinary Goku is together with Sici. And ordinary, uh, ordinary Vegeta is together with Bulma. And then have one kid, Goten, which is the kid of Goku and uh, and Shichi. Okay. So their jobs. Vegeta is a Hall of Famer. Bulma is an inventor. $540 a day is earned as an inventor. So Goku is a Hall of Famer. $100 a day. Shichi is a playground monitor. Only $120 a day. The worst job yet. Okay, and then we have some Gohan, Hall of Famer, Vidal, Captain Hero, seven hundred dollars a day, and some good a kid goes to school. As for their relationships, you can see that <coughs> Vegeta likes Bulma here. Has bad relations with some Goku, Shichi, some Gohan, Vidal, and some Goten. He has better relations with some Goten than others, yeah. Okay. Bulma likes everybody, especially Vegeta. Some Goku, he doesn't like Vegeta but likes everyone else, especially Shichi. As you can see. She especially likes some Goku, I believe. Also likes some Goten. Her son. Some Gohan is her second son, by the way. So, yeah, two sons Goten and Gohan. Mm, yeah, doesn't like Vegeta. Some Gohan doesn't like Vegeta. Likes everybody else. Idle. Doesn't like Vegeta, likes everybody else. Some Goten likes everyone. Okay. They have a house. Okay. Then we have the Sailor Moon and other story family. We have Shaman Apsu, the leader of the evil guys of the game. They had a role playing Japanese role playing game from 1995 to Super Nintendo SNES. Sailor Moon and other story. Shamanapsu is the main evil guy, then we have the uh, Oposishio Sensei, the family is named the Oposishio Sensei family. The scene is like the opposite Sensei of Sailor Moon, Nargal is the opposite Sensei of Sailor Mars, Nard of Sailor Mercury, Ishtar of Sailor Venus, and Marduk of Sailor Mar uh, Jupiter. Then we have Prince Endymion as a Moon's character, he is like evil tuxedo mask, who was like made into a dark knight by Queen Beryl, the main evil character of season 1 of Sailor Moon. Then we have Fish Rye Transvestite, I believe, an evil guy from Sailor Moon. Okay, we will enter the family. So here we have the characters. These models are really good for Sailor Moon and other story mo models. I haven't seen them in any more modern setting than Sims 1. So they are 2D sprites in the, in the role playing game on the Super Nintendo. This is the only game where I've seen three models of these characters. Of course, uh, Fisheye and Endymion, they are just bonus characters. His cape didn't work in Simiton. In Sims 1 he has a cape too. Silver Surfer cape, unfortunately. That's why it didn't work in Simiton it was a silver surfer cape, something was offered it even in the original game. So the faces here are not anime style, but they still look decent, I still like the models. Especially apps, uh, the others look great too. So this fisheye character was made by the same guy that created Diamond and, and uh, Suicide and uh, the other guy. And we have Prince Endymion, made by the same creator that made those other models of CBUs, I believe, and Final Fantasy X models. 
and I believe the Silimon and other, and other story characters are made by the same creator <coughs> that made the Pokemon characters they have the same style uh, in their faces. Okay, so we have Shaman Apsu. She's a cult leader, of course, earns twelve hundred dollars a day. And then we've seen number two in their team, Criminal Mastermind, earns eleven hundred dollars a day. Leader of the Opposition Senshi under Apsu. Then Nergal, <coughs> she's a cat burglar. Earn six hundred forty dollars a day, Leonardo. She's a smuggler and hundred dollars a day. Ishtar, <coughs> Ishtar, con artist, three hundred fifty dollars a day, not the best pay. Okay, and then we have Marduk, counterfeiter, and sixty dollars a day. Okay. We have Prince Endymion, Captain Hero. He's like a Dark Knight of Queen Beryl, but he's still kind of a Captain Hero here for the evil side. Like her loyal knight. In this family, he is obviously a knight of Apsu instead. So Apsu has the same role as Queen Beryl pretty much just in the game. So he is pretty much her knight in, in, in the game. Okay, and Fish Eye, Transvestite, but he is evil guy too of one of the Sailor Moon uh, seasons alright these are the Sailor Moon characters he's a criminal mastermind and all the models are decent Faces could have been uh, more anime styled, but the bodies are perfect. For Sims 1, they looked really good, especially in this engine. So, I'm using an updated version of Simidun because I didn't dare to update it because they might stop working if I update. That's what, that's what happened in the other, on the other computer when I. <coughs> when I had this game installed, Simidun, and, and added a bunch of custom characters, and then I updated the, uh, the Simidun engine and launcher, and all of a sudden couldn't start the game anymore with the custom characters, and it only worked when I removed the custom characters. So I don't want to risk that because everything works in this version, so I'm not gonna update. This means that others might have a problem. It's not, uh, it didn't work to just move over this version to the other computer. I still got an error, unfortunately. So I can't really share it with anyone. As it wouldn't probably work for, for anyone else. Okay. Tifa and Zack are visiting. We'll exit. We have the Tomb Raider family, the Croft family. Lara Croft, Tomb Raider. I haven't given her a job yet. Her nose looked bad. <coughs> so this character was made by a Russian creator, a female Russian creator. She had a lot of good uh, characters on a site, on all sites for Sims 1. A lot of models like uh, Sims 1 models based on models so it was like uh, really beautiful female characters and this Lara Croft looked uh, great on the picture so I downloaded her and wanted to check her out here but as you can see when zooming in on her in, in the original game you see the game 
from uh, up above like this you never really see her face I mean if it's uh, from this view then you don't really care about that nose but with the 3D mode you can zoom in all the way down here and we can see that the nose is not perfect everything else looked great she of course is a treasure hunter both in lore and uh, would be in this game but I haven't added her job yet so yeah Lara Croft her nose was a little bit weird didn't look good but everything else looked good it's probably because of never having this view in the original game if you look at it from this view then it doesn't really matter it's only when zooming in that you see this anyway I like the model she had nice proportions and uh, she didn't uh, censor the, the, the breasts and, and such she looked like Lara Croft should look a really good model. Okay. And I uh, think we're almost done now. Haven't added many more characters. Batman characters now. We have Batman, or Bruce Wayne, we have Catman, or Sidian Kyle, we have Robin, Poison Ivy, or Pamela Isley, we have the Joker, or <coughs> I believe uh, um, in, in Batman 1989 he was named Jack something, I don't remember his surname, Holly Quinn, and Two Face, Harvey Dent, or the Riddler will enter. From this view they look decent. Even better than from the classic view. When I zoom in, they don't look as good because you can see that the faces are painted. Batman still looks decent in the face. Robin lo looked alright. Then we have Joker, he's based on the 60s Joker, I believe. He looks like the actor from the 60s show, 1960s Batman show. Still decent. Good model. Unfortunately, the Riddler isn't using his own body. There was a body for him that looked different. It looked more like the Riddler, but I couldn't find it in the files. I believe uh, he's using it in Sims 1, if I'm not wrong, but I couldn't find it in Simidon. I couldn't add it to the editor because I couldn't find the file. But he has his face at least. Then we have two face, the custom body. Not the best model, looks very outdated. Then we have Catwoman, based on Batman Returns. Looks great from afar. Zooming in, it doesn't look that good. Looks painted and outdated. Zooming out, it looks better. Then we have Harley Quinn, great body. For an old model, all these models are from 2000 or 2001 the latest 2002 but I believe 2000 and 2001 of course she looks painted in the face so only looks good if you are not zoomed in too much but the body looks great uh, poison ivy same deer looks very painted in the face and zoomed in doesn't look very good but when you zoom out it looks decent yeah it's painted um, but the hair looked really good, and I had to edit the model in uh, in the editor, in the Sim Enhancer editor, because this hair didn't show up for some reason. I believe the head and the hair didn't show up. So, so we had a headless uh, poison ivy in the previous video that I made in the 3D mode in November 2022. But I fixed that, so now she shows up with her head and her hairstyle. But of course, she looks amateurish in, in the in the face. Yeah, but the hair is really good. And if you zoom out a bit, she looks decent. Still looks better in the 3D mode than in the classic mode and out zoomed. They used to have a better resolution. As 3D models. I do not have a house here here either. This is the final family. 
check their jobs. So Batman is a Captain Hero, of course. It's Michael Keaton's Batman from Batman 1989 and Batman Returns. Catman was Lena Kyle, she's a cat burglar. Here's $640 a day. She also has claws, which is a nice touch. Robin, Captain Hero. $700 a day. He's an Ivy, Criminal Mastermind. $1,100 a day. Joker, Criminal Mastermind. Same salary as the other one. The Riddler is also a Criminal Mastermind. Then we have Two Face, Smuggler. $900 a day. Lower ranked criminal. Holy Queen, a country fater, $760 a day, and even lower than the criminal. And of course, the relationships are that the Joker and Holy Queen are together, like in the old animated series from the 90s, and uh, Poison Ivy and Robin, like in Batman and Robin. Robin was in love with Poison Ivy, of course, she wanted to kill him, but yeah, they are the love interest here. And then uh, we have Batman and Catwoman, of course. Like in Batman Returns, and then Two Face and Robin do not have any love interest, but they can meet anyone. They can meet the other family members, or they could meet others. Check the characters' relationships. You can see that Batman likes Robin, and Catwoman doesn't like anyone else. It has a slightly better relationship with Two Face than with other villains, because he used to be a best friend with Harvey Dent. Which is the good half of Two Face. She has he has some relationship with Two Face, unlike the other villains. Robin <coughs> has some good relationships with Harvey Dent too. Likes Batman and Poison Ivy. The reason he likes Poison Ivy is because uh, he is under her spell. And Catwoman too, because Batman likes Catwoman. Okay. Then we have um, Poison Ivy, she doesn't like Catwoman because she is like an anti-hero, she is not 100% a villain, and is sometimes on the side of Batman, so she doesn't like her. And then uh, Batman of course is not liked, the same with Robin. Okay. Joker, he dislikes Batman and Robin likes the other villains, but doesn't really like Catwoman. Okay. Riddler. Doesn't like Robin and Batman, likes the other villains. Okay. Two-Face. Likes the Riddler. Doesn't really like the... He, he only half, I believe, one of his halves like the villains and the other half likes the, the heroes. But the Riddler is liked a criminal partner like in Batman Forever they were partners there. Okay the Riddler Okay Holy Quinn really likes the Joker and Poison Ivy dislikes the others <coughs> the Joker likes Holy Quinn Poison Ivy likes Holy Quinn too Ah, uh, Jack Napier is the name of Joker in the 1989 movie and the Burton movie and in Tim Burton's movie and in the animated show from the 90s, 1990 and 1992. It's the same Joker pretty much, just with some differences in the story. The same character, same background story and the same name, Jack Napier. Okay, he fell into the chemical <coughs> toxic waste became the Joker the same way. Okay, so this is the Batman family. Didn't give them a house, okay. And that's all the families currently. So thank you for watching. Yeah, I don't wanna play this game. Maybe when I've added uh, more lots and added the rest of the characters, we want the Lord of the Rings heroes, and we want the Harry Potter characters, and we want we want um, the narrative characters. 
you might have too many characters to add them to this neighborhood, we'll add them to the other neighborhood if that's the case. We'll see, we have 32 uh, narrative characters, I believe, or 37, a lot of narrative characters, and then we have uh, at least uh, 12 or so Lord of the Rings characters, and at least 5 Harry Potter characters. So we'll see. But thank you for watching, and see you in another video later. Bye.